Let me see if I can get my shorts in this shot. Hold on. Hold on. You guys realize I'm barefoot wearing shorts. I just, it's like an interview. You know, you want to look good from the stomach up. Hold on. Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiteboard Finance. My name is Marco and I'm here to help you master your money and build your wealth. Rejoice, my fellow Bitcoin enthusiasts. Bitcoin officially hits the NYSC this week with the introduction of a Bitcoin ETF offered by ProShares. This is something that we've been waiting years for, and it's finally come to fruition with trading that started on October 19th. In this video, we're going to talk about what a Bitcoin ETF is and how it works, the ProShares specific ETF. We'll talk about why not just invest in Bitcoin in the first place, and I'll give you my final thoughts at the end of the video. Stay tuned. Okay, so what is a Bitcoin ETF and how does it work? I've talked about ETFs for years on this channel and I'm a big fan of them. An ETF stands for Exchange Traded Fund. It's simply a basket of investments. Uh, these can be stocks, bonds, etc., that track the performance of a specific asset or group of assets. So for example, if you wanted to, if you wanted exposure to the entire United States stock market, uh, you can invest in an ETF such as Vanguard's VTI. VTI contains 4,025 different stocks that track the performance of the US total market index, giving you a benchmark and diversification with incredibly low fees. So ETFs are a much easier way to get exposure to certain asset classes without having to buy and sell individual assets or stocks in this example. So let's get to the point of this section, which is what a Bitcoin ETF is. So a Bitcoin ETF is simply an ETF that tries to emulate the price of Bitcoin. This allows people to buy into the ETF without going through the process of actually buying the Bitcoin itself, which we're gonna talk about later in this video. Since you're buying the ETF, it's kind of like buying a share of a stock or a share of VTI in this case, uh, which we just talked about just now. So by buying this share, this allows you to gain exposure to Bitcoin without having to worry about proper storage and safety procedures that come with owning Bitcoin responsibly. If you want to know how to learn more on how to properly store Bitcoin, uh, check out my video called How to Buy Bitcoin, which I created months ago. Uh, if you watch that video, you'll see what the price of Bitcoin has done since that video has been posted. And here's a hint, it went up a lot, okay? Uh, at least at the time of this recording, we're hitting all-time highs. So let's touch on how these Bitcoin ETFs work by giving a real world example, which is the ProShares Bitcoin Strategy ETF. So I'm going to read from the ProShares fact sheet verbatim. ProShares Bitcoin Strategy ETF, ticker symbol BITO, is the first US Bitcoin linked ETF offering investors an opportunity to gain exposure to Bitcoin returns in a convenient, liquid, and transparent way. The fund seeks to provide capital appreciation primarily through managed exposure to Bitcoin futures contracts. Ding, ding, ding. Did you guys hear that? Primarily through managed exposure to Bitcoin futures contracts. So why are these Bitcoin ETFs futures based? These funds don't hold actual Bitcoins at the time of this recording. Instead, they will deal in Bitcoin futures, which are traded separately on US exchanges such as the CME, which is the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, for example. In my research, I found out that regulators prefer futures-based ETFs because the SEC lacks jurisdiction over crypto trading in that regard. So I want to make this very clear. The SEC has so far not approved any digital currency ETFs, even though in my opinion, they are inevitable. So here's some quick stats on this ETF after two full days of trading. Uh, its ticker symbol is obviously BITO. Uh, its current price per share is $43.28. And if you take a look at this screenshot, BITO looks to be finishing the day around 1.275 billion in trading volume. This could tick up a bit higher in after hours trading, but that's a massive number. You have to assume the fund is over $1 billion in assets under management and assume it's likely holding multiple contracts. So in just two days, this fund is already sitting at $1 billion of assets under management, which is incredible. So here's the question that most Bitcoin maximalists are asking themselves. Why wouldn't you just buy Bitcoin in the first place? Why do you need an ETF? Let's get into that right now. So why not just invest in Bitcoin in the first place? So I've gotten a ton of direct messages on Twitter and Instagram. If you don't follow me on there, I'm on I'm uh, Whiteboard Fin on Twitter and Whiteboard Finance on Instagram. So, so many of you have reached out to me since this announcement and you've asked me why not just buy and hold Bitcoin in the first place 
or what do I think about the Bitcoin ETF in general? So there's a ton of hilarious memes making fun of the Bitcoin ETF. And if you like spicy memes, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. So my initial, my initial gut reaction is that this is just like a gold ETF. Uh, you don't own the physical gold bullion. You just found some pieces of uh, digital paper that give you a claim to a fund that has claims on the physical bullion. So in my opinion, this defeats the entire purpose of a gold or Bitcoin ETF in the first place. However, for the sake of being unbiased, uh, I like to give all the reasoning out there. So here are a few reasons that some may prefer a Bitcoin ETF. So one, you don't want the hassle. Uh, some people don't want the hassle of learning how to properly buy and store their Bitcoin. Uh, in my opinion, these people are used to intermediaries like banks holding uh, their cash and similar assets. The point of holding your own Bitcoin is to be a sovereign individual and control the keys to your money or Bitcoin. Remember, not your keys, not your cheese. Uh, number two, uh, exchange, ex basically exchanges and KYC. You don't want to deal with the exchanges. Exchanges are very similar to any other brokerage, especially with KYC, aka know your customer laws. This means that you have to give up some proof of identity, verifying that this is indeed Joe Smith opening this account and buying this Bitcoin. A lot of Bitcoiners are very private individuals and they don't want to be tracked via KYC laws. So if you already have a brokerage set up that allows you to buy a Bitcoin ETF, you just may prefer to get your Bitcoin exposure that way through this, uh, sorry, right here, <laughs> looking for the Bitcoin ETF. So three, you wanna keep it in a tax advantaged account. You will eventually be able to put assets such as these in a tax advantage account. So people have the argument that say, hey Marco, if this skyrockets, I won't have to pay capital gains tax on it. Although this may be true, but again, you're just owning a futures contract at this point and not the actual asset itself. Again, this is very similar to a gold ETF. If you're okay with this, then this is perfectly fine strategy. And there's a slight chance that your wife may also have a boyfriend as well. Okay, so as always, I give my final thoughts at the end of the video. Um, I'm someone that predicted $100,000 Bitcoin by the end of 2021. Uh, this typically happens around uh, Christmas time slash New Year's. So we'll see what happens in the next few months. Uh, so I prefer to hold the actual Bitcoin itself. I also own physical gold, physical silver, uh, that kind of thing. I don't prefer the ETFs. I understand all the arguments for and against it, but at this point, you are buying a futures contract. Uh, it makes all the sense in the world to just basically learn how to buy and hold Bitcoin itself. So there's nothing wrong with ETFs. It also gives you the ability to uh, short them. And it also is kind of like the Trojan horse of uh, incepting Wall Street and basically taking the Trojan horse of what looks like a Bitcoin ETF and injecting, you know, Bitcoin into uh, the financial market and the financial system. Uh, so if you want to read three really good books on Bitcoin, if you don't understand it yet, uh, read them in this order. The Bullish Case for Bitcoin by Vijay Boyapati. Uh, number two is Inventing Bitcoin by Jan Pritzker. That's kind of like a technical slash non-technical way to explain uh, Bitcoin to uh, non-technical people. Uh, and then number three is obviously uh, the holy grail, which is the Bitcoin standard. Uh, so check out those three books. I'm not affiliated with any of those people. It's just what helped me go down the rabbit hole of Bitcoin. There's many more books, but those three are good for beginner. Thank you so much and have a prosperous day. Let me see if I can get, let me see if I can get my shorts in this shot. Hold on. Hold on. You guys realize I'm barefoot wearing shorts. I just, it's like an interview. You know, you want to look good from the stomach up. Hold on. <laughs> I'm jumping up really high, just so you know. I think I just pulled a muscle. All right, peace, guys.